long time coming since we talked about the fire mage because not a lot of things changed for the fire mage in the last what is it one or two months since last we checked it but uh fire mage is close to being a complete spec and today we're gonna be looking at what could be this time maybe the final version of fire mage that you will be playing once dragonfly releases in a little over a month is it a month and like 10 days something like that depending on when you watch this video it's probably a month and 10 days that's kind of it and if you like this type of content that we do consider also checking our stream on twitch.tv slash marcellian online where we play all of the things playing beta keys playing all the specs and dragonflies doing keys and raids with you lovely folk and where lately, if you're still watching this fairly early when it was uploaded, you might even vote the spec that I will play and watch me suffer playing something I'm terrible at because, uh... Fuck Shadow Priest. Never mind, but if you do like that, consider checking our stream. We can at least talk about WoW and wish you a good day. Have a good vibe going on and, you know, leave a follow and all of that. Would appreciate it. Thank you. And let's check the fire mage in dragonflight with the talents now in terms of the talents not a lot of things have changed in the general talent tree where all the core mage stuff are um the talents are pretty much the same one new addition though that may favor fire a lot was added instead of the choice node with shatter and the not implemented talent that we got before we now have overflowing energy overflowing energy makes your spell critical strike damage to be increased by 10 percent when your direct damage spells fail to critically strike a target your spell critical strike chance is increased by two percent up to ten percent for eight seconds when your spell crit, this uh stack this buff essentially is consumed which is not unlike how fireball usually worked for fire mage in the past where the more you go on without critting the more uh, the higher the chance that your next fireball will crit so it's that style of mechanic which is kind of nice I don't know um, exactly how good this is for the other two specs, but likely it might be better for fire considering how much fire likes crits. Slow was moved a little more up and uh, got an upgrade in mass slow. This may end up being useful to help tanks kite in uh, dungeons or it can even help you in solo content when you do those questing and leveling up your mage in dragonflight. Quick with it was moved to the left side of mass slow. Mm, nothing much else to say about that. This is basically what we've seen uh, Demon Hunters have as well. Successfully interrupting an enemy with counterspell reduces his cooldown by 4 seconds. So basically incentivizing you using those interrupts to get a benefit uh, out of it clearly. You now have Ice Nova directly underneath Quick with it and Ring of Frost on the left side. They are more accessible if you need that extra CC. Probably in dungeons or maybe with some raid ads. And both now lead to Rigid Ice. Which, hey, if you want more frost power to your fire mage, you can get it and it will depend on the situations when you want to use it, of course. Because energized barrier may also prove useful for you for one extra fire blast, but the requirement for it and how you get there may prove a little problematic. As no one really likes the knockback from blast wave. I don't know, maybe the tank wants it to get rid of necrotic. Uh, maybe this time we can finally have the old school blast wave that personally I have wanted for it to come back into the game for a long time. Also, Tome of Ronin and tonight as the, the, the pure, pure throughput talents have gotten new icons and they're no longer the boring pluses, which is cool because mages need the goddamn tomes, man. Now, moving into the actual spec tree, some changes have occurred since, uh, since our last video, which is kind of important. On the right-hand side, we have Fervor and Flickering very, very close to the top. Uh, this is this essentially makes ignite damage have a five percent chance to reduce the cooldown of fire blast by one second. Marcia and I talked about this in pretty much all the tier lists of uh, range DPS that included fire mage. Of course, this making fire mage feel really, really, really good, getting those faster and faster fire blasts, which is an amazing talent. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you can definitely keep it there, get it really quick and it's just above the flame strike and leading into the flame strike build pyrotechnics was moved a little to the right and now more ways from it have been enabled more pathways to go into different directions you can obviously go to cauterize or you can go to flame on both probably very very important from conflagration which is still on the right hand side because it's kind of being known as a single target but not really you usually pick this in the old system talent tree because it had the most amount of single target damage uh, potential 
Uh, but who knows how it's going to be right now in Dragonflight. You now have like two ways uh, to path from it. One that goes into Master of Flame and one in the Choice Note that in the past came out of Master of Flame. And that Choice Note contains Pyromaniac, which uh, was a first row talent if I remember correctly. And it's all the way down here now. And the other choice being Firefall. Firefall makes damaging an enemy with 30 fireballs or Pyroblast cause your next fireball to call down a meteor on your target, hitting an enemy player counting as double the amount of charges, which uh, if I recall, they might have been way closer to being capstones, these two for, uh, for once. Now on the left hand side, Firestarter is now above the first gate and more paths have been enabled from it and it goes down into critical mass which this kind of feels like it might have been changed slightly so first of all this increases your critical uh, chance by seven percent and you gain five percent more critical strike chance from all sources this was something that mechanically fire had but i don't recall the flat crit increase this must have been changed recently or i am a dumbass nevertheless and it's a two-pointer and it's also a new way of getting into the combustion cooldown in the middle so you don't really have to path only from the middle or from the right hand side you can just go from here as well giving you more flexibility um if you also don't want to take flame on for whatever reason which is uh, weird but hey on the left hand side similar to the right hand side you now have phoenix reborn which was moved really really too far to the left hand side and Pyroclasm also here, which uh, I think it was a dead end talent and now it was moved to be easily to path to and from. And now it can go all the way into control destruction. You can get to this through either of the two or both if you so desire. Control destruction makes Pyroblast initial damage be increased by 4 and then 8% because it's two pointer. When the target is above 70% health or below 30% health. So it's kind of like execute and reverse execute. And in the middle side, nothing changed too much except for the fact that you cannot get to Pyroclasm except from Combustion. If you path way further down to Combustion, you're kind of like locked in into the middle side of the talent tree with stuff like Flame Accelerant. Making, if you haven't cast Fireball for 8 seconds, your next Fireball will deal 70% increased damage with a 20% reduced cast time. And this is obviously a two-pointer, so you can make it even better. And this sounds like something that you would normally uh, take advantage of after you have finished a Combustion Window, since that's usually when you will probably never ever cast a Fireball during a Combust Window. While Wildfire on the other side makes Ignite deal 4% and then 8% because it's a two-pointer also additional damage when you activate combustion you gain four percent critical strike and up to four nearby allies gain one percent critical strike for 10 seconds obviously doubled for the second point these obviously function similar this kind of reminds me similar to how frost has its talent tree where once you get into icy veins you just you're stuck in the middle part with just icy veins related talents this is of course combustion related you can still path to either of the two capsules from combustion so from a grand scale of things, I think this is a much better design. We'll see exactly when you have to like build the builds themselves if it ever becomes particularly annoying since middle part of the talent tree for kind of all made specs uh, is something that you will always want in almost all of the builds. I would be surprised to see none of these except combustion being picked in any other fire build. But hey, who knows? Now, when it comes to the tier sets, unfortunately for fire, it's very boring. Unlike the actual spec, but hey, what can you do? They did mention that they don't want the tier sets to be particularly complicated or complex. They want it to be simple so that you don't feel like you have to build around it. Although with certain specs, uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true. First of all, the two piece makes Pyroblast and Flame Strike cast with Hot Streak to deal 10% increased damage. And the four set makes Fire Blast, Phoenix Flames and Fireball deal 10% increased damage and their chance to critical strike is increased by 10%. It's fairly standard. This is just flat more damage, flat more crit. If they intend to make a, the tier set in a way where you're not incentivized to pick any talents, Fire Mage is maybe one of the better ones because there are certain specs like preservation of the top of my head that buff a specific spell that's on a specific side of the talent tree, making you kind of really want to path towards that. While other specs, also preservation included, will want a specific stat. As opposed to Fire Mage that kind of kind of always wants crit, no matter what, that's you know the core identity of the spec. So maybe that's great. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be complicated, it doesn't seem like it needs a lot of tuning. So I see that as a positive. Overall, Fire Mage is looking like an amazingly designed spec. It's not overly complicated, it has pretty much all the awesome and cool toys that Fire had over the years, unless I'm missing one or two. 
And as a fire mage, not enthusiast that I have been for the last couple of years, to be fair, now in Dragonfly, I feel like fire is the most exciting that I personally have ever seen it. Although that is my subjective opinion, I know that you guys will leave your opinions in the comment section down below. Once again, if you want to be a part of the community even more and have a chat with myself and Marcelian whenever he's available, you can hop on our twitch.tv slash Marcelian online. And even if you're an EU, play some keys and raids with us. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you, Patreons, for supporting the channel. And we will see you in the next one. Bye bye! I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wild.